Brian, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate you coming uh, coming coming today. Uh, it just so happens that you seem to have a copy of uh, Curry Bites with you, um, and you've all kindly agreed to do a quick video. Um, firstly, if I can ask you just to do a quick introduction and just you know tell us a little bit about what you thought about Curry that, Bites. That's great. Thank you, sir. Well, I've very much enjoyed this book. Uh, my name is Brian Johnston. Um, I'm a surveyor, general practice value of surveyor in Birmingham. I'm probably one of the best surveyors, I would say. Oh, oh uh, thank you. Not just in Birmingham, but oh, definitely, uh, definitely in England. That, but carry on. That check definitely. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so, and I've been in practice for about 30 odd years. And, but like in any field of life, and in life generally, it's good to keep up to date with um, your field and to keep inspired and keep current. And, um, you know, that we need to sharpen the sword. And that's a lot of the people that we mix with and the books and the influences that we receive. And um, through Safras here, I came across his book. It was recommended to me. And uh, Canny Bites, here we are. And uh, it's been a, a great little book. I've read many self-help books, people like um, Norman Vincent Peale, you know, Power of Positive Thinking, all his books, and Brian Tracy, Earl Nightingale, you know, Dennis Wheatley, all the rest of them. And they're very good, very inspirational. Most of them seem to come out of North America. Little did I know that we had our own right on the doorstep, right around the corner. Can you believe it? In Birmingham? I know, <laughs> that's amazing. So here we are, homegrown, Canny Bites. So I use this, it's not a book I would read cover to cover. It's best to describe that sometimes you need maybe, it's like a little soup song, a little inspiration, and you keep that as your thought for the day. And if you have your mind too clogged up with too many, they might all be positive, but you lose the focus. It's about like trying to play golf. If you've got 10 rules in your head, you'll fluff the ball, but you try to keep one focus. So I find it just one a day, it's like a little proverbial little saying, and then that would be, you know, kind of bring that into your psyche and into your practice, and then you'll introduce the next one. And so I think it would be, it, it adds to your, your business efficiency to keep yourself current and, and challenge yourself, um, and it'll help to really uh, encourage other people as well, other people that might be going through difficult times in life as well as in business, because really business is an extension of us in life. We don't put on a different hat. Now here, I'm very much inspired, and we're coming on to, there's another 52 bites. There's another one coming out, so yes. as you said, Brian, yeah, there's yes. another one. So you won't have the full 52 weeks to oh, finish this one off, well, uh, yes. but I'm obviously, yes. you know, I'll let you know as soon as, uh, as, Thank soon as you that comes much. out. Well, I understand it's going to be hitting Amazon, so 52 bytes, and there's a part two coming up shortly, so I suggest you get online, get a copy, or you can get an electronic copy. So paper copy, which is I like, because I'm the old school, or you modern ones with all your gadgets, <laughs> electronic. And I'll see you at the top. Thank you so much for that. Thank really you, appreciate that. Thank you.